Hey guys, long time no see. Hope everyone's day is going well. So today I just want to show you this really quick kind of upside down green triangle trick. It's a lot of fun. And to start things off, here's what the trick looks like from my perspective. So in my opinion, this trick is super cool and flashy and it's not too difficult to do. So I can break it into three different parts since it does happen pretty quickly. Okay, so for starters, the main breakdown of this trick is it involves a pop onto this string, the string wrapping over like so, and then popping out the front like so in a upside down green triangle. Now, as you can see, I got a quite a bit of string tension right there. So I'm gonna get that out just to make the trick a whole lot easier. And I recommend if you're learning along with me right now, you do the same. So again, the elements of the trick are super simple. Pop on, the string rolls over, upside down green triangle, that's it. But it's obviously easier said than done. So let me break those different components down for you a little bit easier and hopefully you'll be able to get this trick. All right, so for starters, the first step of the trick is actually to take your pointer finger of your non-throw hand and wrap the actual string around it coming around like that. So once again, your pointer finger is right there. I'm gonna go over my pointer finger of my non-throw hand from the right side for right-handed players. I'm gonna go over just like that, it should look like that. And so once we're right here in this configuration, what's gonna happen is you wanna practice kind of curling your finger like this. So I'm gonna curl my pointer finger of my non-throw hand down and hop and go from the back onto that string right there, just like so. So once again, it's kind of this movement of hopping up like that. Now, obviously you can just practice hopping it up and landing on that string and holding that pinch there. I personally hold it with the thumb and pointer finger of my non-throw hand. So once I kind of curl this guy like that and hop up, I'm holding the pinch right there with the thumb and pointer finger of my non-throw hand. But once you kind of get that motion down, you can move on to our next step, which is flipping that string around. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky because you kind of want to use the momentum of that string coming around to make it wrap over. So I'll, slow you, I'll show you in slow motion what this looks like so it make it a little bit easier. But basically what's going to happen is you're going to do that same motion of just simple hopping it on like that. But you want to give a little bit of a kind of circular motion, kind of whipping the string around while you're doing that. So instead of just hopping the O straight up vertically like that, it should be a little bit more of a twist. So you see how when I did that, the string uh, kind of swung over it itself a couple times. You want it to do that, except you want that string to whip over the back half of the yo-yo and sit just like that so you can do the upside down green triangle. So here's what that element looks like in slow motion. Okay, and so you probably noticed right there, there's a couple things going on that make this trick a little bit easier, but it's once again, once I kind of hop the yo-yo up, I kind of take this non-throw hand right here and go a little bit in a circular motion like that. So if you want to practice just taking your wrist and going around kind of like this, that's the motion that I'm doing, but less exaggerated. It's like very simple like that. And so you'll know the trick is done correctly if once you whip it over, you're in this kind of configuration and you're able to pop the yo-yo up and out the, I guess you could call it the front of an upside down uh, green triangle, just like so. And so that kind of is your last part right there. Once you whip the strings over and they're sitting like this, hop the yo-yo up and out, just like an upside down green triangle. Now the real finesse in this trick comes when you put all these steps together very fluidly. So I think this trick looks best when done very quickly, where you're basically just whipping up and immediately hopping out. Now obviously this takes a lot of practice and it'll take a couple repetitions to get each one of the different motions down. It looks best when you do it all together and just hop it like that. If you really, really wanna get after this trick, you can do it so that the yo-yo doesn't even land on this string right here. It's all done in one motion up and down. But that's pretty hard. In my opinion, I just like it when you hop the yo-yo up 
and write out. And so in terms of tips for this trick, since obviously you guys, some of you may be watching this and say, hey, my string doesn't come around. What's, what's wrong? Why doesn't my string look like yours when it comes around? The biggest thing that I'm doing here is one, I'm not holding the pinch too tightly. So once I'm here, if you really hold this pinch, it limits this string from coming around. So it's more, I guess you'd call it like a loose pinch. Additionally, really try to, uh, you know, put some good flick into your wrist when you're doing that kind of a round motion. So again, this is the exaggerated motion of what I'm doing. This is more kind of like that. So it's literally just up and around like so. One last quick tip before I let you guys go on your way to learn this trick. I would recommend not keeping your hands too, too far apart because what's gonna happen is there's less and less slack to actually go over. Now, if you do this trick way too close and your hands are like this close together, that's gonna be an issue because the slack is gonna be so big that it might loop over the actual yo-yo entirely. This is not what you want because then you can get a knot right there. So try to find that sweet spot where you're not landing on the string with like that much slack because there's no slack to go around. And you're not landing on the string with that much slack because chances are it's gonna loop over. Somewhere in the middle, you'll find a sweet spot where it just kind of loops around like that, pop it out and bind. And that's the trick.